Well, you're right in saying some of the paintings are quite dark. However, they, there's always um, a lot of contrast in the pictures. So wherever there is a dark uh, area also, it's always uh, illuminated. So it's a little bit of a reflection of life, really, that uh, there's always light in a dark situation and, uh, and vice versa. And that's what I try and portray in my, in my work. I've been painting seascapes for eight years now, as, as you know, pretty much full time. So it's more uh, kind of develop as you go along, and um, and I've had a great response all throughout. Uh, the sea is an extremely popular subject. Uh, everybody loves the sea, so I try and um, through my research, and then eventually through the paintings, I try very hard to portray the sea in all its moods and uh, every, every time of day. And here we are, you know, eight years later. So it's been extremely satisfying and um, it pleases me very much to be able to uh, do what I'm so passionate about uh, on a daily basis, if you like. I'm often asked how long it takes me to paint a piece and my answer is eight years of dedication really and um, it just doesn't stop. It doesn't only start and stop when I start and finish a painting. There's a very long process to actually apply paint to your canvas. You know, once I get to that stage, I would have done hours of research, tried and tested different techniques. So once I'm actually at the studio, ready to paint, it's uh, the highlight of the painting, really. The sea is, is very moody. It depends so much on, on the seasons and the time of day and, and, you know, the rough sea or the calm sea. So many people, for example, interpret the rough sea as turmoil, where I interpret rough sea as very positive energy. You know, everybody has uh, their way of interpreting a painting, which is fun, you know, to listen to um, the way people feel about your work, when they see it, when they buy it, and eventually hang it up in their home. And, and, and again, they learn to see it in, um, in different lights. You know, during the day, you get one impression of the painting. As the light fades, it changes completely. So that's the beauty of it, you know, the fact that it's, um, the fact that I paint something that moves all the time um, and, and try and capture that movement in, in a still uh, image, then uh, I'm obviously, you know, people are able to see movement in, on, on a canvas, which, which is fascinating in itself.